Hello, everybody. Welcome to Pile Investing Channel. We bring the best study and research related to personal finance, capital growth, best practices of investing, and strategies for all. This is the fourth video of the Simplify Investing Playlist series. In this video, we'll be going through and discussing 1. Economy Cycles and Where We Are Now 2. Stocks Indexes 3. Company Analysis Before Buy Stocks 4. Financial Characteristics of Good Companies Let's get started. 1. Economy Cycles and Where We Are Now the cycle of economy refers to the recurring pattern of growth and contraction that economies experience over time. The cycle is divided into four phases, expansion or upwards. During this phase, the economy grows, businesses invest, consumer spending increases, and overall economic activity expands. Key indicators such as GDP, employment rates, and consumer confidence peak. The peak marks the highest point of economic activity in the cycle. It indicates full employment, high consumer spending, and potentially overheating sectors of the economy. Recession, the economy enters a phase of contraction. Economic growth slows down, businesses may cut back on investment, consumer spending declines, and unemployment may start to rise. Upturn or recovery. The trough is the lowest point of the cycle. It represents the end of the contraction phase and the beginning of recovery. Economic indicators like GDP stabilize, unemployment peaks and starts to decrease, and consumer and business confidence begins to improve. Where we are in the cycle now? To predict the economy's future, it's crucial to understand its current stage in the cycle. Downturn, recession, upturn or recovery. This information can be found in financial newspapers like the Wall Street Journal and the Bureau of Economic Analysis. When you know the current economic cycle, you can better predict being an investor. When the economy is in a deep recession, the next phase of the cycle will be an upturn, a very good time to begin investing more actively. Understanding sector rotation and the economic cycle can help and profit regardless of the current economic state. Before we move on, we have a small request. Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Your support is incredibly valuable and enables us to continue producing helpful content for you. 2. Stocks Indexes Stock indexes, also known as stock market indexes, are benchmarks that measure the performance of a group of stocks. These are well-known stock indexes in the world. S&P 500 comprises 500 large companies listed on stock exchanges in the United States. NASDAQ Composite includes over 3,000 stocks listed on the NASDAQ stock market, primarily technology and growth companies. Dow Jones Industrial Average, DJIA, tracks 30 large publicly owned companies in the United States. FTSE 100 tracks the 100 largest companies listed on the London Stock Exchange by market capitalization. Nikkei, Japan. The Nikkei is a stock market index for the Tokyo Stock Exchange, Zay. Includes top 225 blue chip companies listed in Japan. Sensex and Nifty 50, India. The Sensex tracks the performance of 30 large companies listed on the Bombay Stock Exchange, BSE. Nifty 50 represents the performance of 50 large-cap stocks on the National Stock Exchange of India, NSE, Shanghai Index, China. The Shanghai Index tracks the performance of all A shares and B shares listed on the Shanghai Stock Exchange, China. 3. Company analysis before buy stocks. When buying stock in a company, it's crucial to research the company and its history. This research is essential for building an investment portfolio. Educated investors are more patient and relaxed, as they are more likely to be patient and knowledgeable about the company. This research, along with regular updates from the company, contributes to a successful investment strategy. When you buy stock in a company, 
you are becoming the owner of a tiny piece of the company. So in real life, if you are going to purchase anything, you are thinking before making any decision. Similarly in stocks, before purchasing shares, you must conduct research. This research is essential for building an investment. Educated investors are more patient and relaxed, as they are more likely to be patient and knowledgeable about the company. Go on the internet and find company website or famous business news sites. Read the company newsletter, annual or semi-annual reports, and balance sheet. Consult your broker or fiduciary before proceeding with investments. 4. Financial characteristics of good companies, world successful investors like Warren Buffett, Peter Lynch, John C. Bogle, advise to buy and hold stocks for the long term. But before choosing a public company, you must keep having a look at the following quality of the best companies. Profitability. Good companies consistently generate profits over time. They have healthy profit margins relative to their industry peers and are able to sustain profitability through various business cycles. Strong Return on Investment, ROI. Good companies achieve a high return on investment relative to their industry peers and the cost of capital. They efficiently utilize resources to generate profits and create value for shareholders. Strong management and leadership. Good companies are led by competent and experienced management teams. Effective leadership is essential for strategic decision-making, operational execution, and navigating challenges effectively. Innovation and new developments. A company prioritizing research and development is likely to launch successful products or services, leading to increased competitive advantages. Competitive advantages refer to the unique attributes or strengths that enable a company to outperform its competitors in the market. These advantages allow the company to differentiate itself, attract customers, and sustain profitability. Thank you for joining us today. Your support means a lot to us. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it with others who might find it useful. By doing so, you help us continue to create valuable content. Stay tuned for more informative videos. I will see you in fifth video of the Simplify Investing Playlist series. Until then, goodbye.